Hi, I'm Diva from Musical Hell, and I know the score. Life's not fair. The rich get richer, bad things happen to good people, Michael Bay keeps making Transformers movies, and the 50th anniversary Blu-ray of The Umbrellas of Cherbourg still isn't available in the United States. Yes, once again we have a beautiful, charming French film that distributors are neglecting to make available for American audiences. And it's not like this is an obscure movie, either. Cherbourg is director Jacques Demy's most celebrated work, winning three awards at the 1964 Cannes Film Festival, including the Palme d'Or, and receiving five Oscar nominations, including Best Foreign Film, Best Score, and Best Song. It made a star of Catherine Deneuve, one of the great beauties of the silver screen, and Demy took great pains to preserve it. Knowing that the Eastman stock the movie was originally printed on would degrade over time, he created three color separation masters which, in the 1990s, were used to restore the dazzling colors which are the film's visual signature. All of which are good recommendations, but the real reason to see Umbrellas of Cherbourg is that it is perhaps the most unique musical film ever created. This is not a musical in the traditional sense, with chorus members dancing and big showcase numbers for the leads. All of the dialogue is sung to Michel Legrand's score, but the lyrics don't follow the usual patterns of rhythm, rhyme, and meter that you might expect. Rather, they're closer in style to a recitative. The dialogue flows in the way a normal, spoken conversation would, it just happens to be set to music. Ben, tout à l'heure m'a demandé de faire une heure de plus, tu parles. Ce soir c'est sacré, je vais au théâtre. Qu'est-ce que tu vas voir, Carmen? Having characters sing even the most mundane of conversations highlights the main function of Cherbourg's music. It elevates the lives and emotions of ordinary people. Deneuve's jean Viev and Nino Castelnuovo's Guy are an everyday young couple in love, and the journey they go on is one that many have taken before and since. But Legrand's score brings a richness and depth of passion that raises their romance to near-operatic levels. Mon amour. Geneviève, ma petite Geneviève. Tu sens l'essence. C'est un parfum comme un eau. Guy, je t'aime. Oh, Guy, je t'aime. Guy and Geneviève want to get married and are convinced their love will overcome all obstacles. Mainly Geneviève's mother, who thinks her child is too young and inexperienced to be taking such a big step. But the hardest test comes when Guy is drafted for his requisite military service, and the couple must endure a two-year separation. The introduction of this development brings into play the movie's most recognizable theme, I Will Wait For You. You can tell why this song was nominated for an Oscar. Legrand weaves exquisite counterpoint and orchestrations around the simple, aching melody line to create a bittersweet, mournful, and beautifully layered work. The theme returns several times throughout the course of the story, each time with a slightly different context, such as in this scene when jean is forced to reevaluate her choices in light of the complications that have arisen in Guy's absence. Music also provides valuable subtext throughout the film. Notice how the mood shifts for the entrance of Madeline, the caretaker of Guy's ailing aunt. 
He may not have a clue about her feelings for him, but Legrand's score makes them instantly apparent to the audience. Laisse-moi, Brut. Tu me décoiffes. Bonsoir, Guy. Bonsoir, Madeleine. But perhaps the best use of music as a means of defining character is the theme for Roland Cassard, an older, wealthy gentleman who also courts Genevieve. In your usual romantic film, Cassard would be the unquestioned antagonist, a threat to the pure love between Genevieve and Guy, and a lot of viewers might automatically be tempted to see him in that negative light. Legrand's music heads off that presumption by giving Cassard a tender, reflective quality, assuring us that he is a worthy man and that his feelings for Genevieve are as every bit sincere and valid as Guy's are. Genevieve, su que je l'attendais. Depuis cette rencontre, ma vie a pris un autre sens. I won't tell you how it all plays out, but the ending of The Umbrellas of Cherbourg is one of the most beautiful and unforgettable conclusions I've seen in a film, containing both sadness and an ultimate rightness in spite of that sadness. Fortunately, American audiences can still track down copies of the DVD on eBay or at the local library, so the movie isn't impossible to find. But if you want it on Blu-ray, and you don't want to shell out $80 for Criterion's Shock to Me box set, then you're just going to have to sit back and say, I will wait for you. I'm Diva, I know the score, and now, so do you.